changes to the Fair Work Act, what exactly would they be? Well, the, the, under, as you know, under the Fair Work Act, there are a number of... There's a list of what are called objectionable clauses in enterprise EBAs, in uh, industrial agreements. Uh, and what uh, we would do, what we propose to do, uh, is to uh, include into that list of objectionable uh, clauses ones which would have the impact, would have a adverse impact on volunteer organisations such as the CFA. But and I, I know, I understand this morning that uh, Mr. Shorten, who, who obviously was secretary of a trade union, and uh, it's an area he he no doubt feels he's very knowledgeable in. Uh, has said has has expressed some scepticism about our ability to deal with this. Well, we are quite satisfied that we have the ability to amend the Fair Work Act to deal with this. But frankly, Mr. Shorten has got to decide whether he is on the side of the volunteers or on the side of the union. He's got to decide whether he wants to remain part of the problem or become part of the solution. If Mr Shorten really believed in those volunteers, if he believed in, in supporting the courage of those men and women who were gathered together on the steps of the Victorian Parliament here in Melbourne yesterday, if he believes in supporting them, then he should join with me and agree that we will deal with it and we'll fix it. But he is as he was with the, with the truck drivers. He's lined up with the interests of the militant unions standing against small business on the one hand, volunteers on the other. I tell you, my party, my government stands for small business. We back small business in. We back those mum and dad businesses in and we back in the volunteers right across the country. Do you know there were SES volunteers there yesterday? Those SES volunteers across this country right now are battling floods. They're the volunteers that the Labor Party and the unions have taken on. They're the volunteers that have been disrespected by the Labor Party. We respect them, we honour them, we stand up for them.